very good morning to all my subscribers my viewers the obedient family thank you for joining me this morning let me start by saying kudos to all those nigerian youths that have refused to back down in the north in the south in the south south that have refused to back down and sit back that have told themselves it doesn't matter what happens to me i'll be out there fighting for my right and it's really good to see that in the northern states they have started dragging it beyond the president as they are asking for a change of system asking tinubu to go they have started holding their senators responsible trust me they are now going to the houses of the senators destroying the houses the senators are on the run they are vandalizing i'm going to be showing you that video burning the nigerian flag you know destroying apc posters and everything as much as vandalization is not accepted and all that at this point in time I feel that Nigerians should understand that Tinubu is not only the person that is messing up this country. We have senators that are redundant and are selfish and are wicked. Passing, you know, are approving bills that are unbelievably terrible. Padding the budget anyhow. Eating taxpayers' money and they don't have any feeling whatsoever. We have some governors that have turned to that have lost their senses of humanity and all they do is to collect money from the federal level and put in their pockets we see palliatives that are being shared going being rice hidden and nigerians by the way are saying we are tired of eating rice we talk about good road you give us rice we talk about every single thing we talk about you go and bring rice and put we talk about first subsidy you say share rice for them he has become declan rice everything nice rice no matter what your agitation is, the government will go and fish out rice and give you. The Agbadon, nobody is even seen it. It's rice that have taken over. Unfortunately, even the rice, nobody's seen it. They are hiding it. So time, we, we need to consciously start holding these other guys responsible. And I love what is happening not right now. There are places where they are recalling senators, writing to uh, um, um, INEC to recall senators. We need to put that into, you can't, you, you, we can't keep choking only one person. We need to choke everybody. Anybody that is responsible for the difficulties that Nigerians are facing needs to answer for it. Whether you're a senator, whether you're a local government chairman, whether you're, and I love the fact that the North are doing it. I'm going to be showing you that video. But before I show you all the videos of what is happening, let me quickly show you what this, my very, very great comrade, Precious, that I like so much, said. And then what the governor is saying, and when I come back, we'll continue. And let me say this to the camera. Shame on the House of Reps. Shame on the National Assembly. Shame on you all. You people are watching people die of hunger and you cannot do anything. With the co presidents, when they hide, when they travel, they go abroad. When I know what they with the talk, when I know some of you will do something for the community, when I know Green Doom, tomorrow you will come back, you will say, that vote for you. You are, a, you, I don't want to use wrong terms, but see, you are a disgrace. All of you there, you are inhumans. And you see that money where they want to chop for that place, you go choke now. Sam will come, you remain in Abuja, you will not come back to Benin, you will not be able to come back home, you will not be able to come back to Lagos, because you people are wicked. We are mentioning president, not president, vice president. What about the House of Reps? What about the senators using billions of dollars to buy cars? What about the people? These are the idiots that approved 90 billion subsidy for Hajj. Who does that? And you say there's no one in the country. And the senior president is approving billions of dollars for the president, for the vice president. Hey? And you are quiet. You cannot, you, you people should be calling for emergency meeting. You are supposed to be talking to the president right now. Let's hear that ah, there's an indoor emergency meeting going on. That's what should be happening. It's clear and the demands are genuine. None of us can deny the fact that there is no hunger and there is a general poverty in the land. This has been made worse by the harsh economic realities, a deficit policy, direction and insensitivity of the national government to engage the citizens civilly. As leaders of the people, we must at all times not only listen but act. The lesson we must drive from the protest is the constant reminder that it, that it is not enough to tell the citizens we have had, we must be seen as doing the needful in providing solutions to citizens' concerns. Now you've had it right. 
there is no telling that what she said is the, the there is no lie in it the perfect truth i love the confidence of that lady hi bini people when i produce person for this one because the truth has to be said we can't keep running around cycles is it is a dynasty of corruption it is it is it starts from the in fact the grassroots from the counselor so the protest should be a total eradication of criminal elements it doesn't matter whether you're in the house of reps a national assembly whatever it is state house of assembly whatever it is because you can see how docile they are there the only person that stood up to talk when this whole thing became and it got to the point where he had to say something was Ndume. And he was doing it to just exonerate himself from the trouble that he saw was ahead coming. Maybe we are seeing it now. They replaced curfew. The people they back down. You see him, just plateau state with all the curfew. The northerners overpowered the military guys and came out. If there's any set of people that don't fear is them who they don't care how many want to die they believe say if you die safe now heaven straight so at the end of the day it is a good move to start attacking them one by a, a senator will fail not supposed to come back in constituency the people supposed to randomly chase him out Time don't reach where we suppose they take that kind of action. As the person they land, everybody go attack and send and come out. Because you can't elect people that are supposed to stand in there and speak truth to power. As we they talk now, you heard what she said. They're supposed to be having a meeting with the president and telling the president, okay, what is the way forward? But all of them don't go recess, they don't run. After everything comes down, they come back and continue the looting and the 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 mess up. That is why we say it's a photocopy Senate with a failed Senate president. So how can you elect people to go and represent you and all they do there is to collect money, approve rubbish, say do not, in fact from one rubbish to another and then you see them do side. That is why I don't respect anyone, the retail of them that came out of Labour Party. They are, they are colossal failures. You are telling me what you have done? Show me what you did when the people are crying. Standing, stand up there and say something. You don't keep quiet in the face of impunity. And then you are coming to tell me, I built hospital. How many people you don't reach? Supposed to be working for the for the whole of the constituent, Abuja generally, and the rest of the places. That's why if they bring all those their shenanigans, I don't even look at it. Let me show you what is happening and then I come back and wrap this up. Now you can see it right that is a senator's house that is being residence that is being attacked and vandalized and destroyed the senator don't take off you go blame them you blame them when they don't tire let me not say anything about this just drop your comment in the comment section and then you can see them further burning the nigerian flag holding that of russia it's becoming really 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 intense because the people are demanding that they don't want tinubu's government again and that is where a lot of people are having that oh this this tension from where is all this coming from it's supposed to be a peaceful protest and all that but you have triggered people you have pushed them to the wall and this is what you get in return the people are even saying let the military be the ones to take over and it's becoming really really you know intense in the north they demand and all that and then moving further from the north you can see this is actually in portacourt trust me anything the apc they don't want to see them they scatter around anywhere where they see anything apc they'll drop and go ground 
They don't want year say vandalization or anything. They don't want year round for that year. People are tired. People are frustrated. People are they, they, they have gotten to their elastic limits. You cannot keep people hungry and be and come out to make a speech that triggered Nigerians. And trust me, this thing was not this bad until after the speech. The speech that Nigerians expected that was going to give them hope, and they found out that they, you know, this man is not ready to make sure that their their lives are better. And they decided that okay, we are going to take the bulls by the horn on this matter. Let me allow you what the rest side of the video before I come back and wrap this up. You seen it right? As much as I don't support all this vandalization of stuffs and everything, I can tell you that every every constituency should hold their senator responsible in fact if he comes to that give him let it be that they don't have they, they, do it in such a way that they will not even have the guts to come look at the house of a senator look at the house of a senator and look at the people he's leading look at the people he's supposed to stand in for 90% of them there don't even know where the next meal will come from. As you see them there throwing those stones. 90% don't know where the next meal will come from. 90% of them, as they are there now, are not educated. They don't even have school fees to pay. And look at the building that the senator dropped in, the, in his town. And then, if care is not taken, nobody's living there. He's not even there. That is to show you how terrible these people are how wicked and selfish and that is why i am happy that the northerners are now seeing the realities of things i don't care whether it's because it's a southern president that is there or whatever it is if you are doing right by the people nobody will come and fight against you if you're doing wrong that is when people will attack you they are shouting and the northerners did not come out to protest when buari was there what stopped stop the southerners from protesting did he stop them did anybody come and hold you people not to protest? Leave them to protest. Eh, they want to remove Tinubu. What has Tinubu done to better the situation of Nigerians that he should not be removed? If he's doing right by the people, if he's somebody that has compassion for the people in that speech that he read, what did he do there? Is it not an act of, I don't even know what to call it. They are raising Russian flag. I'm not in support of anybody raising, raising any flag. They are shouting military takeover. I'm not in support of that. But you see these protests, they have the right to come out and protest. It is their right. So if Buhari was there and the Southerners decided to remain docile because of fear, and which is always our factor, and the Northerners say, okay, it's our brother, we are not going to protest. Now that is people Southern, own, they are coming out to protest. Nobody should disturb them. And I can tell you, we need to start holding all these people in offices responsible. Make them understand that the people they are governing are not fools. Make them understand that you can't just go there and be, be, be docile and completely useless and then think you can come back and deceive us with a, a, a bowl of rice or two moodles of rice or two moodles of beans. It can't work while you live in your exalted space. See that kind of house in a place where people are struggling. This is where senators are. Look at that house. And you think the anger will not make people start vandalizing stuff, burning flags. I don't want to drag this for too long. I want you to have your say in the comment section. Because when you push somebody to the wall and he decides to start reacting, you can't blame him for the reaction. Because of the anger, you can do excessive things. And that is what we see. With all the coffee, you say, they don't break her. They know they agree. They still they run their thing. Let me drop it here, guys. Drop your comment in the comment section. Really love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. I'm obedient and I'm this way. I hope you are. Fingers crossed. Let's keep holding them responsible. And let's hear it pass. God bless you. I'll see you next time.